Hey everyone, Shepard Gamer here and welcome back to another random match here on WWE 2K16. We are continuing on with our Day of WrestleMania preview matches with Brock Lesnar taking on Dean Ambrose in a no holds barred. Well, it's going to be Street Fight officially rules at WrestleMania. Uh, but of course the game didn't have Street Fight as well. In, in fairness, the game has extreme rules, full scrap anywhere and no holds barred. So effectively, I don't know what the difference between those three matches are apart from... Extreme rules, pinfalls have to take place inside the ring. Obviously, full stand anywhere can happen anywhere, but it's a bit, it's a bit odd why they've got three. This they must have just needed to use up the space. It's the only reason I can think of, anyway. But yeah, this match is one that really intrigues me because my my heart says that Ambrose will win, but my head just says Lesnar will. I just can't see. If for me, it would just be such a massive win for Ambrose, and a loss would do him absolutely no favors whatsoever. But and I really do hope he wins, but. I, a part of me just can't see Lesnar losing this one. I don't know why. I just don't know. I think they've booked Lesnar so strong over the last couple of years. It just seems unlikely that he's going to lose to anyone, really. But I, I, like I say, I, I, I hope I'm wrong. Maybe the fact of making this a street fight has put the match in the hands of Dean Ambrose because effectively they're, they're replaying what he was in the past and his hardcore wrestling ability and all that sort of stuff. So maybe that that reason alone is going to give Dean Ambrose the extra boost he needs to come out of this one on top. If Ambrose does win against Lesnar and Mania, it's going to give him such a kickstart into uh, into this coming WrestleMania year. It really would. It, it, it would really elevate him to... The, he's, he's always been a sort of main event player, but beating Lesnar would put him straight at the top of the title picture, surely. And especially if there is a roster split, and we get two separate world championships, one for Raw, one for SmackDown, then definitely he should be involved in uh, in either of the championship pictures. That's what I'm hoping for. And I think it's going to be a very interesting match. I think that Ambrose is going to take a lot, I mean, a lot of punishment tonight. He really is. I think Lesnar's going to absolutely lay out. I think, I think Lesnar's probably going to put him through the announce table. Maybe both announce tables is a possibility. And I think he's really going to take a beating. But I think... He, so I, I, my heart just says he'll win. But my, my, I'm just still... Actually, even my head now, because talking about it out loud, I just can't see any benefit to the WWE of having Brock Lesnar win. It just doesn't make any sense. So for me, for me, if, if Brock Lesnar does win, it helps nobody, really. It's not going to benefit Lesnar. It's going to damage Ambrose, probably. So... Like I say, it, it has no benefit in Lesnar winning. So, it, surely they have to go for an Ambrose win. They just powerbomb him onto the top rope. That's a painful looking move, that is. So, no holds barred is uh, would be a concept that would probably fall into Brock Lesnar's hands, I suppose, with the uh, with the UFC background. But, but when we start getting the weapons involved, that's going to be the interesting thing. Now, this is like the second or third time I've recorded this because the matches seem to be lasting like two or three minutes for some reason. So, I'm... Hopefully, uh, we'll get a bit of a, a better match on this one. I have reduced the momentum down to slow. So, I think we should get a better match this time. And if you're interested, all the matches I've recorded so far, Ambrose has won them all. But he has gone pretty crazy with kendo sticks. Uh, but yeah, the matches were just far too short. So, I wanted to make sure we got a, a, got a decent one. And this one's looking good so far. They've not gone outside. They've not touched any weapons. They've not really hit any massive high-impact moves apart from that powerbomb by Lesnar. So... This match is looking good. Of course, we do still have two more matches to come up for you this evening. The next one is going to be Shane McMahon versus uh, versus The Undertaker, which is going to be interesting. That's one that I'm actually going to have to play um, rather than just recording AI versus AI, mainly because the game doesn't really utilise the Hell in a Cell the way that we would want it to. So I'm going to play that, and hopefully I can uh, try and hit some of the some of the big spots. And then, of course, after that, we do have Triple H versus Roman Reigns. If you're interested in uh, in seeing out the final few matches and we're really at the business end of the card now. And I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm, I am recording this uh, this video the weekend before WrestleMania. And I'm incredibly excited now. So how excited I'm going to be with only a few hours left until the beginning of the pre-show, I have no idea. I'm just absolutely begging, begging to God that I have no internet issues and I can get the network up and running without any problems. And also, uh, obviously, when you're watching this, NXT TakeOver would have already happened, and that's something I'm majorly looking forward to as well. And 
Ambrose now has a chair. I don't think Lesnar's noticed him. Oh, but because of the game mechanics, it's Lesnar who gets the front foot with that baseball back to the forehead of, of Ambrose. He does take that weapon away from Lesnar. But Lesnar does take it back. And Ambrose takes a baseball back to the face once again. And this is what I was saying. I can see Ambrose taking a hell of a lot of damage this evening. I think that Lesnar's really going to just destroy him. And I think that could be the whole theme of the match. Lesnar to destroy him. And just that resilience of Dean Ambrose and that craziness of Dean Ambrose to come back and and sort of uh, just pick up the... See, I've completely changed. At the beginning of the video, I said that I couldn't, I couldn't see Lesnar losing. And now, all of a sudden, I can't see Lesnar winning. But my mind, I've just managed to talk myself around just by the sheer fact of realising that there's no benefit for WWE and Lesnar winning this match. No benefit at all, but there's a huge benefit in Ambrose winning it because it would elevate him so much. And you see Lesnar now just, just destroying Ambrose with that chair. And like I said, this is what I expect to happen this evening. Lots of damage to Dean Ambrose. I'm expecting blood from Dean Ambrose as well. And maybe Lesnar, who knows? Especially if, uh, if uh, obviously, the baseball bat covered in barbed wire comes into effect. I'm confused now. Was that actually... You know what? My mind's gone blank now. I'm, I'm seeming to remember that, that Mick Foley gave Dean Ambrose a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire, but I'm sure his weapon was a 2x4 wrapped in barbed wire. I'm going to have to go back and check the video, because that's... I, I'm, I'm sure it must have been a 2x4 wrapped in barbed wire because that it wouldn't make sense of baseball bat. I don't know why I got baseball bat stuck in my head there for a second. There's a DDT there by Ambrose. Now, you used to be able to put that weapon underneath the ring, I think, in matches, but you can't anymore in this game. And now Ambrose has a hold of the weaponry. And Lesnar takes it back. This is what I'd say. This is what I can see happening this evening. Ambrose getting a short little bit of aggression, then Lesnar just using his power to take control back. And I think the problem is as soon as people start using weapons in these matches, it really speeds up proceeding. So you see Ambrose sliding at the back there. I don't know what Lesnar was going for there. I don't know if he was potentially looking to get up on his shoulders for the F5. See Lesnar just stomping on the chest of Dean Ambrose. Rolls him over now, in for a ping, goes Lesnar. Has he done enough damage here? One, two, no he hasn't. The attack with the weaponry is not quite done enough to Dean Ambrose. And now Lesnar going back to his more UFC style, just uh, slowing the pace of the match down, locking in that headlock and the elbows to the forehead. Ambrose fights back though. Sends Lesnar off the ropes, comes back into a crossbody. What can Ambrose do here? Not much as Lesnar once again reversing it. There's the snap there by Lesnar now locking it a, a reverse chin lock as well now just to slow the pace of the match down once again. Wise thing for Lesnar to do I think but Ambrose is fighting back. A couple of elbows to the gut of, of Lesnar. There's a snap there. Now again locking in a, a chin lock of his own just slowing the pace of the match down giving himself a chance to regain a little bit of energy while sort of uh, restricting the, the blood flow and the airflow to the brain of Lesnar. It can make you feel very, very woozy and uh, really weaken you down. Lesnar, there's the back suplex to the backdrop. Ambrose just slowly sliding across the ring there for no reason. And you see Lesnar struggling himself there, dropping to one knee. This match has obviously taken quite a bit out of him and Ambrose trying to get back up to, to his feet, but Lesnar catches him, and a big boot to the back. Lesnar bring Ambrose back up to his feet and takes him up. Big powerbomb, but Lesnar holds on and takes him up for a second. And he holds on again and takes him up, and there's the third of the powerbombs in for the pin he goes, and this could be all of Dean Ambrose. No, Ambrose kicks out on the verge of three. And like I was saying, this is what I expect this evening. Big, big moves like that by Lesnar and Ambrose just to kick out of everything using his resilience. When Ambrose catches Lesnar from nowhere, Dirty Deeds, is he going to steal the victory? One, two. Oh, 
Oh no, Lesnar kicks out as well. I thought Ambrose was going to steal the victory then. That would have been a great finish this match. Ambrose using his resilience to get out of that pin then just catching Lesnar out of nowhere with the dirty deeds. Lesnar taking Ambrose. Sorry, Ambrose taking Lesnar to the top corner. Is Ambrose going to take Lesnar to Superplex City? There's the super backdrop on the top. And can Dean Ambrose capitalise and go for the pin? He does. Is that going to be enough to keep Lesnar down? The bigger they are, the harder they fall, and it's not enough to keep Lesnar down. Both of these guys now struggling back up to their feet, but I don't think Ambrose has realised that Lesnar's back up there first. But Ambrose did catch Lesnar with that boot to the gut and now some knees, and now all of a sudden, Ambrose is taking control of this match. And it looks like he's looking for help from his little friend, shall we say? And it's a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer to the back of, of Lesnar, but it seems to have just spurred him on more than anything. The big right hand that takes Ambrose up. F5, and again, Ambrose caught that bottom rope. And I think that is going to be game, set, match one, two. No! <laughs> what? Oh, if, if this this could be exactly what's going to happen this evening. Ambrose taking the damage, Russian leg sweep onto the sledgehammer. Is that going to be enough? One, two, and no. Lesnar kicks out. What a match between these two. And I'm expecting the match this evening to be just as good. Lesnar looked like he was going to go for a four away slam there, but Ambrose got out and caught Lesnar that big clothesline now Ambrose is going up high risky move big diving elbow Ambrose now bringing Lesnar back up to his feet but Lesnar reversing sending Ambrose over the top of his shoulders goes straight into the pin not quite sure that Ambrose is sufficiently weakened but oh, I was close to being wrong there wasn't I and now again both guys Struggling to get back up to a vertical base. The end of this match cannot be far away now. Lesnar throwing Ambrose into the corner. Ambrose fights back with the elbow. Lesnar fights back with the right hand. And now again looking to slow the pace of the match down. Right in the middle of the ring. With that rear chin lock. Just slowing it down. You see Ambrose fighting back up to his feet. A couple of elbows to the gut there. But Lesnar comes back with a big boot to the gut. And Lesnar looks like he's finally going to get a backbreaker. A second. I think he's going to have a four-way slam there for a second, but he's going to go for the pin now after double backbreaker. Is that going to be enough to break Dean Ambrose? It's not. Ambrose still kicks out in two. There's so many false finishes in this match. You think the match is finished, and Ambrose just continues on. And Lesnar taking Ambrose to Butterfly Suplex City. In for the pin he goes. And surely the damage that Ambrose has taken, he can't last much longer. He can last longer. Ambrose must have like the highest resilience score in the entire game. But it only takes one F5 to, to finish him off. Oh, Ambrose fighting back with that back elbow. And catches Lesnar. There's the dirty deeds. In for the pin he goes. One, two, he's done it. <laughs> I tell you what, that is the parallel of what I expect to happen tonight. That really is. Lesnar dominating large periods of the match. You think that Ambrose is out on so many occasions and then just out of no way hits the dirty deeds and picks up the victory. I know I started the video by saying that I think Lesnar's going to win, but I've completely convinced myself now that it's a foregone conclusion that Ambrose is going to win this. And I think this is exactly how he's going to do it. He's going to take an absolute crap ton of a beat in the whole way through the match. And he's just going to sneak in with a dirty deeds and get the pin. And I must say, this is probably... I don't know what you guys think, but I think this might be the best random match we've had all day. Or even one of the best random matches we've done the entire year. I know there's about 80 or 90 on the playlist. Well, I think there will be by the time we've uploaded all these. But yeah, it just it was such a good match. Here's the butterfly suplex by Lesnar. At this point, I was thinking that 
all the damage done to Ambrose all put together. This could be the end of him, but only a two count. And you see Lesnar threw Ambrose into the corner. And then when he tried to capitalise, a back elbow by Ambrose and then just out of nowhere just catches Lesnar in that Dirty Deeds. And there he was, enough for the freak out. You see, Lesnar's hand was underneath the bottom rope, but of course in a no holds barred. That doesn't count. Rope breaks do not count in these types of matches. And Dean Ambrose does a fantastic job. The only thing that I can see happening at WrestleMania tonight, which has not happened in this match, is going to be blood. I think there's definitely going to be blood in this match at Mania. But yeah, what a great match this has been. Now, of course, we do have two more matches left coming up for you. We have the Hell in a Cell match coming up on the next hour. And of course, Triple H versus Roman Reigns coming up after that. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, then please, please, please do hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. And of course, subscribe if you are new around here because we're doing another two of these matches today. And then, of course, we've got a lot more random matches on the channel already. And of course, any suggestions you have around random matches, drop them in the comment section below. And I will get them recorded and, of course, give you a shout out in the process. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you very soon for Shane McMahon versus The Undertaker.